click, you can build your new Toyota. Get a quote. Search current special offers. You can even see offers not seen on TV. Buyatoyota.com. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Patriots Today. I'm Brian Lowe. Tuesday marks one month to the day before the Patriots open training camp for 2010. Hard to believe, but yes, it is true. So it's a good time to start our camp countdown. And one of the ways we'll be doing that here on Patriots Today is by highlighting a few of the key position battles that are looming during those steamy summer days. So we begin our look at five position battles for 2010. We start with wide receiver. It's a group made up largely of the very young and the very old, relative to the NFL, that is. In Randy Moss, Torrey Holt, and David Patton, the Pats have three wideouts with at least a dozen years in the league. Wes Welker and Sam Aiken are in the mid-career category, and then the Pats have a hefty group of rookies and young vets, including Julian Edelman, a first-year surprise in 2009, and Taylor Price, selected in the third round of this year's draft. When considering the Patriots' current group of receivers, keep this in mind for context. The Patriots had six wideouts on the opening day roster last season and seven on the initial 53-man roster the year before that. The first clue on the makeup of the wideout group could come on day one of training camp if Welker is either on the practice field or starts out on the PUP list. The injury status of the league's reigning receptions leader will have an impact on who ends up making the team with Moss indicating this offseason that he doesn't expect to be with the Pats beyond 2010. The Pats clearly have a need to develop the talent of their youth at the position while also making sure they get solid production out of them this season. That's why Edelman, Price, and second-year man Brandon Tate all have reason to believe they will be on board when opening day comes around. Where there will be great camp intrigue is with Holt and Patton. Holt's presence could be huge, especially if Welker is sidelined, and the Pats like the idea of employing one of the game's great receivers of the last decade. Patton will have an uphill climb, but certainly has Tom Brady on his side. Add in Aiken, a special teams regular the last two years, and there may be more wide receivers with a genuine case to make the team than the Pats can reasonably keep. At this stage, Moss is locked in as a starter at wide receiver. Edelman has to be considered a lock to make the team, while Price and Tate have to be considered pretty close to the same. Beyond that, expect special teams to play a significant role. If Tate projects to be a big factor as a kickoff or punt returner, and Aiken or Matthew Slater beat out players at other positions for a spot in the kicking game, Bill Belichick will likely keep seven wide receivers on the roster. It does, however, still come back around to Welker. Despite his recent minicamp and OTA performances, there's a strong possibility number 83 won't start the season on the active roster. The other position battle on the offensive side that we'll be focusing on is tackle, and we'll tackle that next week. That's going to do it for now. We'll see you next time on Patriots Today.